Hi everyone, my name is Michaela and I'm a believer. So I went on my Facebook pages and asked anybody if they'd like to be in my video. It's about believers being bullied and I got a lot of responses so thank you guys for that. First off, I would like to do shout outs. First shout out goes to Quentin. Their um, Twitter name is at VicLovesJB. So thank you for liking my page and I will read your story later. Aaron Folger, Jessica Binkowski, her Twitter is at JessBieber2369. Leah Hill, her Twitter is at LeahLovesBeebs. Freshia, her Twitter is at FlowerBrat. Jennifer Aslim, sorry if I mispronounce anybody's names. Hers is at BieberMental with an underscore. Sarah Tottledale, and her Twitter is at Sarah Hill JB, and Aubrey Wag, and I just got in a lot of requests on my phone saying more people commented, so that be, might be more shoutouts. But anyways, all the shoutouts are be, gonna be in the description below. So if um, you asked for a shoutout and I didn't say it, look in the description; it's probably in there. So um, if you don't know what a bleeper is, it is somebody who believes in Justin Bieber. It um, It is a person who supports him through everything, never leaves him. There is a difference between a fan and a believer. A fan is somebody that will leave him through the silliest things, like getting his hair cut, getting a tattoo, getting a girlfriend, anything like that. I have been a believer since 2007, and I will never leave him for anything. Now we're going to do stories that people sent in from my pages. I have a sister. She is 12 years old, and she is a believer with cancer. She has no friends because she loves Justin Bieber, but she doesn't care. She keeps moving on with her life. She doesn't let the haters make her upset. If it wasn't for Justin, she wouldn't know what to do with her life. I am really proud of her for what she does, and I hope she keeps on doing it. That was by Quentin. By, and then their thing is at Vic Loves JB. Like I said, everything's going to be in the description. So, I think that's an amazing story for everybody who knows about Evlana. It was really sad. I, I cried when I heard that she passed away. I was a huge fan of her. And I every time I think about her, I still get a little bit sad. So another story that I'm reading is from Sarah Totterdale. Sorry if I mispronounced anybody's names. She said, Believers get bullied a lot, and I hate it when haters say, You will never meet Justin, and he will never notice you. But when haters hate on Justin, I hate it. That... That it hurts to hear and see haters hate on a person you love. And I know it hurts Justin a lot too. And that it hurts Justin to see his believers get get hated on. Why can't everyone respect one another? These dumb haters don't have to like or love him. But at least respect him because he never done anything to them. Maybe smile at them. That's it. How can they hate on such a beautiful, amazing, talented angel that has such a big heart? It makes me happy that you are going to make this video. Thank you, Sarah. It makes me happy that you are sticking up for believers. Um, if you're a believer and you see other believers getting hated on or you hear Justin getting hated on and you just walk by, you're not a believer. I'm sorry you can judge me, hate me all you want, but believers stick up for their family, which is believers, and they stick up for Justin. So next time, do that. This one is from Jessica Diaz. Why does believers get bullied? I just don't like it. There is no reason to bully us. I will always love Justin no matter what the hater says. No one is ever going to stop me from liking him. I just wish haters can stop. Please do a shout out to Jessica Diaz. Jessica Diaz, shout out to her. Um, I also would like to add that believers have to stick together. You cannot make, you cannot have a hater come between us and hate on us and try to tear our family apart because that is exactly what they're going to try to do. So believers, you really have to stick together. If you don't, this our, there's no point of having us because what are we good for if we're just going to sit there and fight with each other over something that a stupid hater said? It's it's um really sickens me knowing that people out there are making fun of Justin because they're jealous of him. It's really stupid and unfair. And I've been there. I've done that. And honestly, I'm just really getting sick and tired of the hate, the haters. Like 
Seriously, go somewhere because nobody nobody wants you here. If you were us, you wouldn't want anybody hating on you and your idol. It's like your love for your mother or your dad or your aunts or your uncles or anything like that. Your love for them. Take that times like 6,000 and that's our love for Justin. That's how much we love him. And that's how much we support him. We love him more than anything in the world. We would never trade him for anything. And I think I'm pretty much speaking for all believers when I say this. Um, we just got another comment. Shout out to Jordan Prout at Biebs05. So make sure you guys do that. Follow everybody, please. And Alexandria says haters will be hating on you but just keep smiling and loving justin bieber ignore what they say thank you that's so amazing i totally agree with you um don't forget to follow her or um shout out to her my tablet's being really stupid but anyways i have lost friends i have lost one of my best friends because i'm a believer and look Look it. Seriously, look where I am. I'm still loving him. I don't care what people say or what people think because it will not change my mind. We have to stick together, and I have been a believer since 2007, and I am not going anywhere. No matter how much you haters try, I'm staying right here, and I'm not leaving. So, um, let's talk about boy believers. I really have a lot of respect for boy believers. I think they are truly amazing to have the courage to go out and tell people, yeah, I'm a boy and I love Justin. Is there a problem? I really think that's amazing. I actually follow a boy believer on Twitter. His name is iboykidraw97. Oh my god, I have an obsession with him. When he followed me, I literally was screaming and flipping out and it's just really amazing. And boy believers, they are just so, I can't even explain it. Like I said, they're amazing. Um, I hate it when there's fake boy believers, which you have to be really careful about them. I'm not just saying all guys that say they're a believer are faking it. I'm saying you have to be careful because there are some guys that are just going to be like, oh yeah, I'm a believer just to get girls and stuff because I've seen that happen before too. So... Um, let's do some more stories on my pages. I think there is a few more. Um, but all of my pages and everything is going to be in the description. Um, about two years ago or last year, I was having depression because so many people were hating on Justin. And it really, um... It really messed me up. Um, I just, I wouldn't eat. And nobody knew. Nobody knew it. Not even my parents. Nobody knew it. And they still don't know now. And I was literally thinking thoughts of suicide. And one night I just came home and it was just, it was just a lot. A lot. Um, I just sat in my bed and started crying. And even thinking about it right now, it gets me really teary-eyed and upset that people hate on somebody who has never done anything to him, that he is such a good person. And I was like, I'm done. I don't want to do this. But I took a few deep breaths. I sat up, and I looked around my room at all my posters, and I was like, no. I have to stay here. I have to support him. I can't leave him now. I've done this for five years. I, I can't leave him now. And... I still get hated on every day from people. I even am not close to my cousin anymore because she never comes around because she's annoyed by how much I love Justin. My own blood is annoyed. I even lost my own cousin. So Jessica Binkowski says, I get bullied because of my love for Justin. One of my friends asked me why I loved him so much and told me I didn't even know him. I said that I don't know him. I know his story, his past. I see his tweets, etc. Some of my friends call him gay and say it's all an act for the camera and that he's really a jerk off camera. I don't care what anyone says. I love Justin no matter what, though. He saves me. It kills me to hear people talk so much crap about him. He's so sweet and down to earth.
Her name is Jessica, and her Twitter is at JessBeaver2369. Um, I totally agree with you. It really kills me, too. Believers, like I said, we really have to stick together because we're a family. We can't let the haters come between us, and we have to support Justin. We have to be here for him. Somebody um, else said, my friends love One Direction, so when I talk about Justin, um, I always get made fun of. It was from an unknown admin on one of my pages, but I totally agree with you. I think that's really ridiculous and unfair. I love One Direction too, but they will never, ever replace my love for Bieber. Never. And I'm a believer, and I'm saying never. <laughs> My friends don't like One Direction or Justin. They always make fun of both of them, but that's okay because believers stick together. We are a family. Big round of applause to Jessica Binkowski again. Um, Jessica, you're really amazing. Um, that's that's really cool. Uh, so, I just, it's unbelievable that people are hating on him. There is a story a while ago where a girl went to Justin's concert and after that she got lost in the crowd and she got raped and she was crying in the streets for three days. She only had $10. She couldn't find her way back home. Her parents thought she was at a hotel. They went looking for the girl and they finally found her. No, she finally found a way home. The story went out on Twitter, and Justin met her, and she told him the story, and they cried together. They also went to dinner together, and Justin is, is paying physiological support. You hate him for supporting somebody who got raped. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> I don't understand that. There is also a reporter, a paparazzi, that was trying to get pictures of his new Ferrari, and he went out on the street and got hit by a car and died. And everybody was like, it's Justin's fault, it's Justin's fault. It is not Justin's fault that the paparazzi won't leave him alone. That the paparazzi have to get pictures of his car. It's not his fault. And even Miley Cyrus said that on Twitter. It's not Justin's fault. Justin didn't push him in the street. Justin didn't yell at him. Justin had no contact with him whatsoever. The paparazzi was taking a picture of his car. Not having any contact with Justin. And that makes me really mad because it wasn't Justin's fault. And Justin tweeted, even though I didn't know the person, I pray for his family, all the stuff like that. And he made a five-year-old girl's dream come true. She had cancer. Her name was Evlana. She died um, last year, recently, actually. And that was her dream. She called herself Miss Bieber, and he met her, and it was just amazing. So, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's all I have to say. For all you haters out there, there's really no point. There really isn't. Because hate may win some battles, but love wins in the end. And our love for Bieber is more powerful than anything in the world. And you can ask anybody that. It really is true. Um, that is it, I guess. So, I will be posting the links to my Facebook pages, all the shout-outs and everything. Everybody who is a believer, I love you guys. You're my family. You're my brothers and my sisters. I will always support you guys. Um, make sure you follow me on Twitter at JujuBieber66. I follow everybody back. If Bieber is in your Twitter name, I will follow you. If you tell me, if you tweet me and say that you're a believer, I will follow you. Because, really, you guys are my family. And, Justin... If by any chance you're watching this, oh my god, I'm even getting chills just thinking of it, but never say never, right? Any chance that you're watching this, you see how much we love you and how much we will support you, and we're not going anywhere. And guys, it would really help if you could post this on your Twitter pages, if you can tweet this and you can post it on your Facebook pages and stuff like that, and share this and everything to your believer friends and family. Um, that'd be really amazing because it's my also my dream to meet Justin and this is a promise I will make to all of you if you're watching this video and you're following me on Twitter and stuff like that if Justin by any chance notices me and follows me I I promise you guys I will help you get followed by him too I would direct message him and everything like that and no matter where you go 
Not everybody's going to like you. It's a part of life. So you have to get up and you just have to keep believing and believe in yourself and really never give up on your dreams. Be able to just look at Justin, for example. He never gave up and look where he is. If you um, want to be a singer, a writer like I do, if you want to be an artist, a professional skateboarder, a, a television broadcaster, um... Really, if you want to be anything, just follow your dreams. Don't give up. Don't listen to the haters. Don't let them bring you down. And thanks for everybody who's been watching for, like, the whole 16 minutes. Sorry it was this long. I didn't mean it to be this long. But thank you anyways. So, I... That's that's pretty much it. And... Always follow your dreams. People are going to tell you to not... F to give up on your dreams. People are going to tell you you can't sell out Madison Square Garden. People can't. People can tell you that you can't do something. That's when you have to get up off your feet, lift yourself up, help others lift themselves up, and tell them never say never. Bye, guys. I love you, Justin, and I love you, my believers. Well, my brothers and sisters. I love you guys. See ya.